like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, on number one, it's asking for us to identify which of these five choices is equivalent to the quantity three minus five B squared. And so to answer this question, we need to actually square that binomial. So if we have three minus five B squared, the squared part of it is telling us that we need to multiply this by itself. That's the definition of when you square something. So I'm just gonna rewrite this as three minus five B times three minus five B. Once you have it set up like this, you can see that we can use the distributive property to multiply these two binomials. Sometimes this is called FOIL. It's an acronym that helps you remember which order to multiply these in, although the order honestly doesn't matter. You just need to make sure that you multiply each term in the first binomial by each term in the second binomial. So for example, we need to multiply three times three. We also need to multiply three by negative five B. We need to multiply negative 5b by 3 again, and then finally negative 5b times negative 5b. So we'll take, we'll multiply each of these four products one by one here. 3 times 3 is going to give us 9. 3 times negative 5b is going to give us negative 15b. We have to do that again here, negative 5b times 3, so we get another negative 15b. And finally, we have negative 5b times negative 5b. A negative times a negative is positive. We end up with positive 25b squared. Now, we're not quite done here yet. As you can see, we do have two like terms. We've got the negative 15b twice. And so we can combine those. So when we combine our like terms, we've got negative 15b minus 15b, which is going to be negative 30b and we end up with this expression, nine minus 30b plus 25b squared. So our correct answer choice here is going to be E. All right, y'all have a great day.